The official countdown to Tears of the Kingdom is upon us, right? I'm excited. The teaser trailers, the gameplay trailers, everything that we know about this upcoming Zelda game just has me absolutely hyped. Yeah, the Zelda hype is here now. It always feels like Christmas when we are waiting for a Zelda game. So as a huge Zelda fan, right, I'm always excited for the newest installment in the series to come out it's <sighs> there's just something about it <laughs> and i have to say the upcoming game tears of the kingdom has me more hype than ever especially now you know i i try to keep it in the back of my head oh there's a zelda game coming out so that i don't have like you know like when you're waiting for christmas as a kid it just feels like it's taking forever to finally show up <laughs> that's that's how i feel right now uh, it's not just because it's a new Zelda game, but it looks like it's going to be the best one ever. Like, and, and each each installment of Zelda always builds and builds and builds and becomes like a better and bigger game. But this one looks like it has so much going for it that we really haven't seen in a Zelda game before. But there were some things that I wanted to talk about that I would like to see in this game. So let's go ahead and talk about it. If that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and start off with what we've seen in the trailers. All right. So we've seen a quite a bit of stuff in the trailers. So far, the game looks amazing. Like, absolutely stunning. They're going with the same artwork that they did with Breath of the Wild, which I'm not complaining about that. I think the world is massive. It has lush landscapes. It has amazing looking architecture when you look at how it's developed and built. And just like with Breath of the Wild, looks like they're using the same combat. It looks fluid. It looks dynamic. There's plenty of new weapons and abilities that we obviously see in these trailers that you can play with. And that's that's the cool thing about the Zelda games is that each one adds some kind of new mechanic. Uh, now, if there is something that I would not like in the game, real quick, right off the bat, is the breakable weapons. I felt they broke a little bit too easy. Skyrim has the same issue, but at least Skyrim, it takes a while for your sword or your weapon to to break. And, you know, it just seemed like in Breath of the Wild that it was just a little too easy to damage your weapons. And I get what they were going for with it, but in all honesty, I, I really hope that they fix that a little bit. But anyways, back to what the characters and everything looks like in this game. Of course, with the Zelda games, you get all these lovable-looking characters with personalities. And the characters in the game look amazing. They look charming, look like they have lots of personality. And it's clear that Nintendo and the developers of this game have put a lot of time and effort into creating a truly immersive world, especially for a sequel to a game as big as what Breath of the Wild was. I mean, this is like... <laughs> This is a pretty ambitious Zelda game because usually the games are not directly uh, sequels or spinoffs of, you know, the previous Zelda games. Usually they start completely from scratch with a brand new story, a brand new graphic design. And, and now we're getting a direct sequel. You know, this hasn't been done since Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. So, yeah, what I loved about Breath of the Wild the most was the sense of freedom that you had in the game. Uh... Honestly, you can go anywhere, do anything, and discover secrets, hidden paths at any time along the way. You could even go straight to Ganon's castle and try to take him on and ultimately die. But that was what was awesome about Breath of the Wild is that it was open-ended to the extent where you could do anything you wanted at any time. So, Tears of the Kingdom looks like it's going to take that concept to the next level, and that's fucking awesome. There's even more ways to explore, especially because this world is so much more interactive. You can climb like in Breath of the Wild. You can swim underwater. And now it also looks like you have that new ability where it's like Link could turn, like go through platforms and stuff. And then it's emphasizing on the sky, the sky exploration and stuff. So they're taking like different, I guess, avenues of exploration and travel and building up on top of it from what Breath of the Wild already did. So there's going to be a lot to do in this game. Honestly, I can't wait to see what amazing secrets this game has in store for us. As far as like 
just how much we're not seeing right now that will be uncovered. Like, could you imagine if we get like a whole underwater cavern that's like a whole basically size of like another map? I think that would be cool, like a hollow earth type of thing. Now, one of my biggest hopes for Tizard Kingdom is that it builds upon the uh, the old school feel that Zelda games used to have, like this mysterious feel. I remember, especially with the the first NES game, the game just felt so mysterious. Like, oh, if I cut down this bush, am I going to find some huge secret? Or if I bomb this random rock wall, are we going to find a, a cave that we could enter? Even, even Ocarina of Time had, you know, that mysterious feel where there was always a secret somewhere. Uh, honestly, I hope that they take the, I guess, idea of adventure, which I believe is the heart of the Zelda series, and, and magnify it times 10. I want to feel like I'm discovering new things at every corner, everywhere I go, every part of the, of, of the map, and piecing it together, like... Like a Lois and Clark, like a like a Christopher Columbus exploration conquistador link. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I want every part of the map and everything to be to feel literally like I'm I'm discovering something new. And and I feel like the older Zelda's, especially like you know Ocarina of Time, uh, in the first Zelda games, really had that feel to them. So I hope that we get a sense of that. Uh, you know, the game, I hope the game has a rich and, and complex plot. It looks like it's going to because it's going to build back on the canon of Breath of the Wild and possibly Age of Calamity at this point. If, if they tie that in somehow, because Age of Calamity did have an interesting twist. Um, and I, I hope that there's some good callbacks to other games in the series. I hope this really connects like the timeline together and, and keeps people really engaged because you guys don't understand i'm i'm absolutely like in love with <laughs> with legend of zelda it's like my favorite series of all time um uh, and you know speaking of the plot um i'm really curious to see what role this game has that that it'll play into the overall timeline like i said because we we have the timeline we have parts where it's pieced out and everything and it's always interesting to see what or where the newest game is placed in the timeline or how it ties back to other places in the timeline. Uh, you know, it's always been fascinating to see where the, where the newest game fits into the larger story. And I'm excited to see the impact that tears of the kingdom will have on the Zelda timeline, uh, as a whole. And I have a feeling that it will be a major turning point, uh, for the series. Uh, I just, everything is bigger and better. This, this go around with, um, with Zelda games and with games as a whole, like it always seems like everything ever since the MCU has become a thing that there's a lot of world and universe building. And I feel that they're going to do it, do it with this. So also I'm hoping for some great new characters. Um, Breath of the Wild had a lot of memorable side quests and side characters. And I I'm eager to see what kind of people we, we will meet in Tears of the Kingdom. Are we going to get new species? Are we going to get species that were missing in Breath of the Wild? You know, I, I, uh, there was a lot of races in, uh, ca like character types that we didn't see in Breath of the Wild. Like, I think there was only one Goron in the whole game. If I remember, it was like the map dude. Are we going to get to see more of that? Are we going to get to see, you know, different types of characters that we hadn't seen in quite some time from other games? Uh, you know, whether these characters are quirky, lovable, may whether we get an interesting new bad guy, like, you know, like the dude in, uh, F Skyward Sword that did the tongue thing and he had like the sword and he was always like a weird charismatic demon that would follow you. Like, can we get that? <laughs> Either way, I, I want bigger and better characters. Like even the Groose guy, Groose, right? He was like that weird guy and... Kakariko Village. I, I want some characters besides Link and Zelda in this one to play a larger role. Because Breath of the Wild had a lot of side characters and stuff, but it really didn't feel like many characters played a major role besides the Ballad of Champions. Are we going to get them in this game as well? That's what I want to know. And I'm also crossing my fingers that this builds up on the epic boss battles. We had a few epic boss battles in Breath of the Wild, but I want more and I want more dungeons. I don't not so much shrines, but I want a lot more dungeons. I want the dungeon aspect to be back. Uh, Zelda games are known for challenging and creative boss fights. So I want this game to continue that tradition, but let's let's amp it up. Let's make it hardcore. 
You know, I want to face off against massive beasts, mysterious villains, uh, you know, using every single thing in my Zelda adventure tool bag to, to fight them. And, and overall, like, to end it, uh, you know, there's just so much. Like, you see people, myself included, talk about Zelda games, and we get this huge, you know, dream list, this dream checklist, because this series is always adapting. It's always something that's always changing with every time. I'm absolutely excited for it, and not just because it's a new Zelda game, but because it looks like it's going to be one of the best ones yet. And and I can't wait to explore the world, uncover its secrets, and experience its story for myself. Because to me, it's always a big event for a brand new Zelda game, and this time it's it's no different. Now that we're in the final countdown, pre-orders are coming out, the hype is getting real for me. So I'm counting down the days until we can finally dive into Tears of the Kingdom. So what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know down below. I'll see you on the next one.